think I'm just going to change that name to Squid Rehab. Go ahead and take care of that, put this puppy on. Put some other parts too, some uh, body panels. A new body missing on both sides when I found the bike. Well, when I got up with him, I actually should have made him work back in that stuff. For the logo. Here are the brand new fresh body panels that just picked up. It's the old style here that came off the bike. With these. We got a brand new centerpiece that fits in between the, the two uh, color, but hey, we're going to paint this thing custom anyway, so if not, we can get them off eBay for pretty cheap. I found it, but I didn't say nothing about it. I'm going to lose the every time. Welcome back to Scooter Rehab Lab. You know, I think I'm just going to change that name to Scooter Rehab. The lab seems just a bit much. Okay, anyway, welcome back, guys. Hey, well, yeah, the other day I ran down to the uh, my buddy Scooter shop, budget scooter parts, and uh, I got the triple tree. I got a brand new triple tree for the bike because in part one we figured out that it was bent. So. Got a brand new one. We're going to go ahead and take care of that and put this puppy on. And um, pretty much, that's it. I got some other parts too, some uh, body panels. Some new body panels that we're going to put on. Now you notice the uh, rockers were missing on both sides when I found the bike. Well, when I got the bike and brought it home. And um, the quarter panels were they were decent. I could, you know, I could have worked with them. I actually could have made them work, repaired them. But hey, my buddy Shane over there is having like a fire sale. He's trying to go out of business, so I'm just racking up stuff for the Lolo right now. All right, let me go grab those body panels and show you guys what we got going on. Okay, gang, here are the brand new fresh body panels I just picked up. Okay, now these, uh, you notice there's a little difference in between the old style here that came off the bike and these there's a difference uh there's like a little open spot here for like a mesh grill unfortunately shane did not have that but i'm just gonna grab some type of mesh from home depot and cut it and put it in there we got a brand new centerpiece that sits in between the the two um recorder panels and we got two rockers two brand new rockers unfortunately he didn't have the same color, but hey, we're going to paint this thing custom anyway. So, yeah, guys, I mean, I lucked out on that. Now, I was there. I forgot to ask him about the signals. I'm sure he does have them. If not, we can get them off eBay for pretty cheap. And uh, I found that lens. Actually, in part one, I found it and put it on. Didn't say nothing about it, but yeah. I found one lens for the front, so we get on the front. We really just need the two backs. So that's a win there, man. The cost of rebuild of the rebuild is going down. So cool. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and um get this um front end on this triple tree. I'm gonna have to take apart the whole the plastics up here, pull the triple tree out, unloose the shocks and everything, but no big deal, it's not a lot of work. All right, let me go ahead and get to taking all this off, and I'll tune you guys right back in. All righty, the new triple tree is on. And uh, she's looking pretty straight. My handlebar straight down. She's straight. So, cool beans on that one. Now, the old triple tree, I can, I can see now where it was bent. This side here is bent down. So, it's bent that way. Yep. It's no good. It's just scrap metal now. Toss it in the back of the truck. When it piles up, I cash them in. All right, now, so I figured out why the Speedo here wasn't working. The cable is good, you know. Here's the cable here. It's good. A little greasy, but it's good. Uh, it's this deal right here. It bolts to the wheel. As you can see it in there. Yeah. It's supposed to be a gear inside there, and it's missing. So what I'm assuming what happened is either this wheel is factory to the bike and they took it off for probably to put this tire on that's facing the wrong direction. This tire is supposed to be spun around. These arrows here are supposed to be going the other way. 
we see right there rotation that way well the bike rolls this way so I don't know I'm gonna fix that I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about these wheels either I'm going to find one that looks like this or I'm going to find one that looks like that one so I don't know whichever one comes first whichever one I run across first that's what we're going to do I'll we'll make a match so yeah um, I think I do have one of those gears that go in there I don't know I'm not sure I gotta dig through my piles of stuff but I guess yeah I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run this sucker on around the block and uh, I'll be back with you guys tomorrow this is my last of my days off or my two days off and I haven't rested the whole time so I'm gonna go in the house and become a couch potato until the kids get off all right, be back in a sec. Okay, gang, quick update. Came in from work and uh, sanded all the panels down. Still got to do a little wet sanding to them up in the uh, cracks and corners and the crevices. But for the foremost, uh, it's almost ready for primer. And the bike's there under the cover. I'm still looking for a wheel that matches the front or one that matches the back. But we'll get on to that. All right. Give you guys another update tomorrow. Okay, gang, I got some primer laid down on the body panels. Everything's been primed down pretty good. I'm just sitting on the racks drying. All right, give y'all guys a quick update as to the wheel situation. I found a wheel that matches that back wheel. That was a good lucky find today, so I'm going to go ahead and get that put on. And so we can come back up here tomorrow and just lay some paint. All right. Also, I forgot to mention, I found that uh, missing headlight harness for the dual headlights on the VIP. And I was able to pick up left and right rear signals for the VIP, a tail light, and two bulbs. So, she gonna be lighting up in all the right places, you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna put this tire on and I'm going in the house. Guys, I'm telling you, this engine motorcycle lift table, whatever the heck you want to call it, has been one of the best investments I ever made, man. Not only I can get up off the ground and I have to work on stuff on my knees, you know, I can bust tires off the beads. <laughs> well, a little 2x4 action on one side and squeeze it in with the hand clamp. I mean, I could have took my little tire prior and went at it but why work hard we don't have to you know okay gang i got the rim on the bike and the tire is on this rim now facing the right direction so it's pretty pretty cool pretty cool we got matching wheels now i like these wheels they're nice all right gang check this out just went and picked up another project bike so it makes a total of three project bikes that i got waiting in the wind for the channel so, hope you guys stay around, like, comment, share, and subscribe, okay? This video is not done yet. I'm going to go ahead and wet sand these, uh, the body panels, and I'll come right back at you guys uh, tomorrow. I'm going to the house. Okay, gang. Found a perfect day to lay down some color on the old scooter parts today. It is a windless day out here in Las Vegas, Nevada today, so, all right, I show you guys what i got going on i have this uh duplicolor perfect match uh, this is the chrysler color it's just basically a silver base coat and i'm coming over it with this uh metal cast iodized high temperature purple paint so basically it's translucent and uh, the reason i'm doing it this way is because uh with the silver base of this paint and the translucent purple kind of gives you a, like a candy finish so we end up with, you know, something like this, you know, it's kind of like a poor man's candy. All right, guys, so I'm going to bang out the rest of these and I'm going to tune you guys back in when it's all finished. Okay, gang, I got the poor man's candy paint job completed. All the panels are done. Even the footboard here, Oop, almost bust my tail. The uh, knee shield, the leg shield piece under the seat muffler cover and the tail light panel 
Now real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and pressure wash this suck off. We're gonna get all that dirt and grime out of there. Before we start putting it back together, I am gonna take care of that fuel line, cut it up, make it a little shorter, and reattach the fuel pump. All right. Okay, gang, bike's all cleaned up, back on the stand. Turn that off. Had it back on the stand, had to fire up, make sure everything is uh, still working. You know, getting these scooters wet sometimes, they don't want to crank. You have to let them dry out, but it's fine. So now I'm going to go ahead and start putting the body plastics back on. And um, got the new signal lights, the headlights, bulbs. I think I am just missing one peanut bulb for the front on this side, on the, the left hand side. But enough jibber jabbering, let me go ahead and start slapping these panels back on. Alrighty, gang, the bike is back together. We got all the body panels on it. Went ahead and found a luggage rack to go on it. We got a new battery cover. And we got some new mirrors up there. Some big old square deals. Kind of like them though, because you can see a whole lot better out of them. Go ahead and let y'all check this poor man's candy out in the sun. Now, she's looking pretty good for me. I hope it looked good on the camera. But you can see that silver base up under that translucent purple. Looking pretty good. Yep. So this thing is uh ready for the old interwebs, man. Ready to post it up and let it find a new home. You guys comment and let me know what you think. Alright. Alright guys, this ends this video and um I got about enough time to start another one, so I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys on this one. I hope to see you on the next one. Deuces.